The propagation of Streptocarpus is amazingly fun and easy to do. It takes very little care and can be done in a matter of minutes. The soilless mix that I like to use is made up of one part vermiculite and one part perlite mixed well. Then place it in an airtight container. I like to use a porcelain tool to do my cutting. Prepare the leaf by cutting out the mid-central vein that runs the length of the leaf. Then trim off the ends and discard all the extra pieces. You do not need to dip the cut ends in rooting hormone. However, you can dip the ends in powdered fungicide. Prepare a label to avoid confusion. I use tape. It works well. Water the mix enough so that it is moist, but not saturated. You can use your finger to check this out. Plant the leaves by placing the cut ends into the soil about a quarter of an inch. Prop the leaves up using a little of the mix and cover with a tight lid. Make sure to label. Leaves planted in this method can be left for years. What you see is two years old, and the resulting plants can be taken out when needed. These leaves are growing along with live sphagnum. You can start planting the new plants as soon as they have a leaf that is about one inch long. 